someone else who has not been sh uh, one to shy away from political issues and has uh, has also not seen any effects to her career because of it is Cardi B. I mean, it was just announced <laughs> that Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion's WAP single hit number one on the Billboard Hot 100 on the same day that Elle magazine has dropped this very amazing and candid conversation that Cardi had with none other than Joe Biden. I mean, soak that in, you guys. Cardi B and Joey B having a conversation on Zoom together. <laughs> it's I, of course, want free Medicare. And this is why it's important to have free Medicare because look, look, look what's happening right now. You see why we should have been having free Medicare for a long time. I, of course, think that we need a uh, free college education. That's second. And I want black people to stop getting killed and no justice for it. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I just want more stricter laws that is fair to black citizens, and you know, it's fair for cops too. I just want Trump out, you know what I'm saying? I just feel like his mouth gets us in trouble so much. I don't want to be, be lied to. I don't, I don't want, like, you know, we're dealing with a pandemic right now, right? And I just want answers. I Katie, love what did Cardi you think of so, this? Okay, A, I think Cardi needs to be the next celebrity to get a talk show. Yeah. Because I would watch that a thousand percent. I mean, Absolutely. she's so direct and the way that she, her delivery, like there's so much humor in it. I mean, the fact she's like, I just want black people to stop getting killed. And she says it with Period. like this giant grin on her face. And it's like, yes, like why is that even a thing that in 2020 is still an issue? Um, mm -hmm. But the way that her, that she delivers that is just, I mean, incredible. I love her. Um, and I also well. love, yeah, I love that Biden said, if he's elected, all of her concerns will be addressed uh, by his administration. Um, but of course, to make that happen, again, going back to Taylor's message, everyone has to get out there and vote. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's what I appreciated about this conversation is, you know, Cardi, someone who, by the way, has or in the past supported Bernie Sanders in the primary election. Now she's like, well, I'm gonna sit down with Joe, Uncle Joe, and figure <laughs> out like, you know, where do you stand? She really did not, you know, I don't wanna say she grilled him, but she really gave him that third degree. You know, she came in with her questions. She wanted to know how his administration would tackle these important issues. And she did that, you know, and knowing very well the people who are gonna watch this, you know, her following, her fans, her platform, again, just like Taylor, you know? Um, but I just also love that, you know, Cardi is, as much as she's been outspoken about these issues and has really been a voice in politics uh, by association, she hasn't lost that Cardi B flair. You know, she's really stayed true to herself. And I know a lot of people in the past have asked her, like, including you, Katie, actually, like, what could <laughs> yep. we get you to run for office one of these days? <laughs> I, to me, like, she would be such a fun candidate to watch. Like, I'd be so interested to see, like, what is her campaign strategy? What does that look like? I do think she's a little bit busy. I mean, she has yeah. a toddler. She's hopefully working on this album that I am waiting for, especially after hearing WAP. Um, so I do mm. think she's busy. But I did ask her, and if we want to pull up that clip, I think you guys will get a kick <laughs> out of what she had to say. <laughs> I will say, though, people really want you to run for political office. Would you ever do that? No, because I feel like that's a big responsibility. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like, it's not. Sometimes, like, I feel like if I want to quit my job today, I could quit it. Like, I'd be like, oh, I don't care. Like, that's it. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm setting up for me and my daughter. Yeah. But it's like when you are when you're like a political person it's just like you cannot let millions of people down mm -hmm. that voted for you that rooted for you to make their lives better so that's just not my thing do you see her changing that though <laughs> no, no i really don't and that's why i respect that answer uh because cardi's not pretending to be a politician she is right. just an everyday citizen who happens to be making a lot of money, who is really famous and has a lot of people following her on social media. Just do, but she's just doing her part, you know, because she's fed up, like so many other Americans, you know. So I, I am not surprised by that. Again, I think she's just using her platform the way she knows how, and I, and it's, I think hopefully it'll be effective. Do you do you think, just to play devil's advocate, that there is such thing as a celebrity being too involved in politics? Mm, not right now. 
Like I said, I we're in the middle of this culture reckoning. It's like we cannot be silent anymore. You know, we saw w when the George Floyd protests were happening, a lot of yeah. people were advocating for everybody to use their voice however they can. There was no specific rhetoric on like how to do that, just to say something, you know, because as they say, silence is complicity. So Cardi's just, you know, and she's been vocal before the protests too. And so that's why I think it was so important to see her have this conversation with Joe Biden in particular to hold him accountable, but also it was important for Joe Biden to have this conversation with Cardi so we could see that, you know? Absolutely. And I think right now the name of the game is just like educate yourselves, vote, yes. educate yourselves, vote. Like if you have issues that you think need to be brought up, like find out what those are, find out how to get in touch. I feel like Joe Biden has done so many interviews that I've seen where he's like, get in touch with me, send me a tweet, like tell me what yes. your concerns are. I think he wants to hear from the people and I do appreciate that.